Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome to the Kanaloa Lounge. Today is a special day because I'm doing an unboxing video. Yeah, another unboxing video. But here's the reason why. I just acquired two great pieces, which I think are going to really add certain something to the Kanaloa Lounge. I'm quite excited. One of these, in fact, is pretty much a holy grail item for me. But a little backstory. I found these items on an online classified site. And as soon as I saw them, I knew I really wanted the one piece. Uh, notice that they, this fella had quite a few pieces I liked, but for sure two that I, I was really into. These are lamps. They're old Orchids of Hawaii lamps. Uh, the first one I'm going to open here is um, one that I wouldn't say is any kind of holy grail item, but I really do like it. It's better than most of the things I would see around my hometown. And I have to say the, the fine gentleman at the other end who was shipping these was uh, a pleasure to work with. Uh, everything worked out really well in the end. At least I hope so. I'm a little nervous because these are boxed items. I hope it made the journey okay. So that's what this video is all about. Let's dig into the first one here. This is the smaller of the two Orchids of Hawaii lamps. Uh, like I say, not the one that caught my eye at first and made me jump out of my seat and uh, start texting the fella when I saw it. But nonetheless, still a fantastic item in my opinion. I'm just gonna put it down so I can lift it out and show you what we're dealing with here. Oh boy. Lots of bubble wrap, which is fantastic. You know, this is larger than I was expecting it to be. And I know I've, I've seen this style lamp. Maybe you can kind of tell already what we're looking at here. I know I've seen this style lamp in uh, Tiki Bars before. It looks like this one is all in one piece. It's fantastic. It's good. Or, for one for two. Uh, I'm just gonna peel this aside and we'll speed up the film. that okay? Now that's a bigger hunk of bamboo than I was expecting it to be. That was a nice lamp and um, really happy I got this guy. Interesting uh, fiberglass insert. Maybe I'll, I'll put some insert shots, uh, speaking of inserts, uh, into the film so you can kind of see better what I'm seeing here. But that's a nice classic Orchids of Hawaii design. Um, beautiful lamp. Like I say, I feel like I've seen these before and uh, I'm really happy to be able to add this to the lamp collection I have here. It's kind of been a, a resolution of mine to make or find and collect some nicer lamps for the bar. And I, I really think uh, this is a great step in the right direction. But the real star of the show for me is this next one. Let me just go put this down somewhere safe and we'll get to the unboxing of the next lamp. And of course, what can often happen when you only give yourself one chance to capture an event, one that has no do-overs, is that you might forget to turn on the microphone. And that's exactly what I did. But I'm just happy that we made it this far into the video with sound because I know my own technical limits. Okay, so I'm sure you've already guessed that this is now a voiceover. But we're not really losing out too much by not getting to hear my impromptu jibba jabba as I cut open a box and remove the bubble wrap. And I've uh, sped up the film here and I promise I will slow it back down if there's any kind of interesting parts that happen uh, in the unboxing of this lamp. Like this part right here where we get our first good glimpse of the lamp. 
Now don't worry if you didn't get a good look, I will show you a better view a little bit later in the video, I promise you that. But I also noticed at this point of pulling it out that there was a piece of bamboo that fell off the lamp during its travels. But mostly though, the lamp is intact and the resin panels are all in one place and there's no cracks and that was what I was mostly worried about for it making its trip two thirds of the way across this large country that I live in. So here is a shot of an initial inspection that I did. Again, the lamp looks mostly unscathed. Uh, some of those nails in the bamboo need to be tapped back in for sure. And I'll bet that these bamboo sticks coming off is a pretty common thing with this style lamp as it looks like all sorts of nails were added to the bamboo pieces and it looks like they were done after the fact. And I'm sort of demonstrating here uh, where the bamboo piece came off. Overall, not a big deal. I can and I did fix it back on there pretty easily. But I'm pretty pleased overall with the condition of this lamp after its long journey. Here's a horrible blurry photo I took back in 2008 of one of these dodecahedron lamps hanging in Damon's restaurant in Glendale. It might be where I first fell in love with this style of lamp. And here's the lamp plugged in. I wanted to see it lit up and glowing before I hung it. I love it. Gorgeous glowing green panels. Such a beauty. And here we see the first lamp that I unwrapped, the Orcas of Hawaii Bamboo Tiki Face, let's call it. It's a really cool lamp, love it, so happy I have it. But uh, I love this one even more, the Orcas of Hawaii Dodecahedron Shaped Starfish Lamp. I love the greens, I love the shape, I just love this thing so much. It's fantastic. Like I say, one of my holy grails. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe if you like what you saw here. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.